Alright then gang, so we have a details page component set up for the Ninja details page and it's right here and it's called this with square brackets ID and that's us saying that this ID part of the route is changeable, it's a route parameter and that means that there will be a Ninja details page for each different Ninja ID that we have. So ultimately, when we build our app for production, Next needs to be able to generate a route and an HTML page for each of these ninjas. For example, in our case, it should create 10 HTML pages for each of our 12 ninjas that we're listing, or each of our 10 ninjas rather, right here, and assign each one to a specific route based on its ID. But Next doesn't automatically know what routes and HTML pages to generate because that depends on external data. For example, if I was to build this app, it wouldn't automatically know to create 10 routes and 10 HTML pages for our Ninja detail pages. And that's because it doesn't know what's in our data when it's building the application. That's being stored somewhere else on the internet and it's only after we fetch the data that we have a list of 10 Ninjas. So. We need a way to explicitly tell Next what Ninja details, routes, and pages we need to create at build time based on our data. And to do this, we use a function called get static paths. So we've already seen over here get static props, but in this component, the ID component right here, which is the details one, we need to use a function called get static paths. And this is another function that's gonna run at build time. And inside it, we return all the possible values for our route parameter, the ID right here for this component. And then next we'll know to generate a route and HTML page for each of those IDs. So let's create this function then at the top of this file and we need to export this function. So export const and then the function is called get static paths. We set that equal to an asynchronous function and the reason this function is asynchronous is because we have to fetch all of the data in this function so that we can get all of the IDs and we can return those IDs to next and then based on those it can generate all the routes and pages for us. So we need that external data so next knows how many pages and routes to generate. I hope that makes sense. So the first thing we need to do in here is fetch that data. So let's do it. Const response is equal to await and then we'll use a fetch request. And then this is going to be to the same endpoint as this because we're just fetching the same data. All I want to do is fetch a list of resources so that we know what pages are going to be used based on those IDs. So let's fetch that first of all and then I'm going to say const data is equal to the response object dot json and we have to await this because it's asynchronous as well and now we have that data and remember that data is going to be an array of objects where each object is a user or a ninja and on each of those objects we have an id property and that's what we want now at the end of this function ultimately what we want to return is an object and inside that we want a paths property. Now that paths property needs to be an array of objects where each object represents a route if you like and in each of those objects we need to specify any route parameters in our case the ID. So it will look something like this where we have a lot of different objects where each one represents a route and then in each object there would be a params property which specifies any parameters of this particular route and inside there any route parameters so in our case the id which would be the id of each item inside this data so we need to somehow formulate this array like this from this thing so what i'm going to do is use the map method to do that so i'm going to say const paths is equal to data dot map and then each time around we'll take in the individual ninja or user, doesn't matter what you call it, but it's one single item in this array as we iterate through. And for each one, we're gonna return an object in this array. And it's gonna be the object that we saw a minute ago that represents a route. And inside those objects, remember, we had a params property where inside this object, we specify the ID and we have access to the ID on this ninja. So I can say ninja.id and then I'm going to use the two string uh, 
method because otherwise it's an integer and this should be a string version of the ID. So now we have an array of objects that look like this. And that's the thing we need to return right here. So I could say paths property now is equal to paths, which is this thing right here. Now this can be shortened to just paths because they're both called the same thing that does the same. We also need a second property right here called fallback. And I'm going to set this equal to false. Now this is to do with fallback pages. It's kind of beyond the scope of this tutorial right here, but I might talk about it later. And also I will be doing future tutorial series on next where we look at fallback pages and more advanced features. But for now, just set this to false so that if a user tries to visit a route with an ID that doesn't exist, it will show the 404 page. So now when next builds our app for production, it's going to look at this array of objects, this paths thing right here, and it's going to build a page and a route for each one using the parameters we specified, the ID in our case. So for us, it's going to generate 10 pages and 10 routes because we have 10 different IDs. And for each of those pages, it's going to use this details component right here to make the template. And I'll demo this later on. But first of all, we need to wait to get the data for each ninja and pump it into these individual pages. And we're going to see how to do that next.